going on? This is Jerm from Ghost Freaking Not Pro. And I just had a couple things that I definitely want to discuss tonight. I was I'm late. It's about 1 a.m. I just got back from a late night meeting I was doing. There's nothing like building your own businesses. Like the ideas that get flowing from the first idea to the second idea, and then they start getting better, and you build on top of that. And you know, ideas are just ideas until they go into action. But once you see that first one get into action, it changes because you're like, I can do this. And then you start plugging in other people's lives and telling them that they can do this too. Because so many people, they, you know, we, we doubt ourselves until we see a, a different arena, until we see something that we can to accomplish. And tonight I was, I was just plugging into someone's life and just making, trying to make their life a little bit better because I've been there. I've been where he is and he struggles. He, he, he has a little bit of like a, a stutter and he's like, you know, it, it's hard for me to get my thoughts from my mind to my mouth. And my bosses make fun of me and you know they they make they imitate me and give me shit and they tell me that you know when are you gonna blow up your car because you know my car's not very nice and he's like they want me to they want me to be better and I was like no they don't I was like let me guess they've been involved in your business for like 20 years and the only way and they work their way up the ladder because they've been there for so dang long they ended up being in middle management they don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to be better. They see. They want to point out your flaws because they're insecure about their own damn lives and their own damn choices. I was just like, I tell you what, you are trying to better yourself right now. You're reading every day. You're trying to become stronger. You're putting yourself around a better association of people. And you know, if you can be aggressively patient and understand it's going to take time to build yourselves, you know, you're not going to be able to say f you to your bosses next week. You're not going to be able to say. F you to your bosses in three weeks or in maybe even a year. You know, you're not going to be able to tell them to go screw themselves. You know, you might have a better job by then. But just because you were plugging into a better situation and you were trying to better yourself on a day-to-day -day basis, you were going to have way better opportunities than they'll ever have. And in three and five years, you're going to have opportunities and options in your life to where they don't have. They literally were forced to stay in a job for 20 years because there's nothing else that they were good at. And I just said, and you know what, and someone else is going to come into your life within the next two years and they're going to be stuttering and they're not going to have a whole lot of confidence and you're going to be able to look at them confidently and say, hey, I got you. You're going to be able to put your arm around their back and say, you're not going to make fun of them. You're not going to tell them to blow up their car because they don't have a whole lot of money. You are going to be able to change their life for the better because you already have. I can't build my website and my YouTube and my Instagram and sell my book. When I meet people by having drive through conversations, I can't walk up to someone and be like, hey, how's it going? Great. How are you? It's, it's like I got called ordering a number one. A number one with no cheese, just plain and dry. You say, hey, how's it going? Great. How are you? And it's over. Good to see you. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. That's a number one. You want to add cheese? You might be like, what are you going to do today? Maybe add fries and a drink? And you're just like... Um, you know, I'm excited about the weekend. Oh yeah, I'm real excited about the weekend. Yeah. Why do we have drive-through conversations yet expect a full service life? It's not gonna work. It's that's not how this works. For those of you in the restaurant industry, there's an extra ten to twenty dollars if you can just remember everyone's name in a big group. Everyone. Like if you take the time to literally just focus into someone else's life. You're literally get, you're gonna be rewarded. Not only are you gonna make better connections, but you're literally gonna be rewarded. If you have a big group of like 40 that you're taking care of and you're like in the catering industry and you remember 40 people's names, don't you think they're gonna notice? And not only are they gonna notice, let's say that's a big corporate thing. Guess what? They offer you a job. People love the sound of their own names. We don't even take the time to remember their own names. If there's a big difference out there, start to put your life in other people's life. Forget about this, put it into them. Go home, write it down, commit it to yourself. Be like, I'm going to love myself enough that I don't need somebody else to love me, that I can just put it into their life. Go out there tomorrow, have a fantastic day, be successful, kick ass, and most importantly, love other people because that's where it's going to come from. Love you guys so much. We'll talk to you soon.